Hello, this is Ed with JLM Security Products. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to set up geofences and also make sure that the alerts are going to actually be received. So, right now I'm logged into a demo account. Um, you're going to want to be logged into your GPS Track Manager account. And the first thing we're going to check is the alert settings and make sure you're going to actually receive them. So, the first thing to do is come over here to the left to the change settings menu and all you need to do is hover your mouse over change settings and that'll expand the menu out and then click on change alert settings and we're just gonna make sure that the geofence alerts are on now in this case they are indicated by this check in the box here so all you would if, if this was not checked for you you would just make sure you put a check in the box and then click the submit button uh, in this case it is already on so I'm just gonna exit out of here then the second thing you want to make sure is where the alerts are going. So you'll see here it says add email for alerts and here it says add SMS for alerts. So this is where you put the email address that you want alerts to go to if you want them to go to an email address and the same thing for phone numbers where you'd want the alert text message to go to. Most people use text message alerts so I'll show you that adding them is virtually the same for either one. You go in click on add SMS for alerts put in your mobile phone phone number uh, make sure you only put numbers in and not dashes or parentheses or anything like that I'm just gonna put a fake number in here and then you choose your carrier I'll put AT&T for this case then you hit submit now you'll notice under remove email slash SMS for alerts that that number is in there now so if you ever need to remove that that's where you would go click that hit submit and it would remove it so now alerts are on they're set up to go to this phone number now we'll set up a geofence so you go under the geofencing menu same thing hover your mouse over and then click on create geofencing area now you need to know at least a made up address of the center point where you want your circle radius to be so I'm just gonna put an arbitrary address in here let's see 123 Main Street now as soon as you start typing addresses in here you're going to see this start to populate this list underneath and that's coming directly from Google because our software talks with uh, Google Maps so all these addresses are coming for there so let's just say that you're wanting this Chatham Massachusetts address to be your center point so what you do is you start typing that in there as soon as you see the address you need just keep typing it, it doesn't even need to be this format click on the one that you want and you will see it automatically the marker will center up on that point now one thing to note is that there's actually two markers here they are just happen to be on top of each other right now uh, you can zoom in you can zoom out so what I'm going to do is zoom in on this and the two markers here are the outer radius and the center point so I'm going to pull the outer radius away from the center point and that's where you would set up how large you want your geofence area to be and you can grab your center point and move it too so as soon as you're satisfied and you can zoom out again see the big picture of it all as soon as you're satisfied with where this geofence is now you hit submit now that geofence is in there and the way to check that is to go into view delete geofences and that shows the geofence that we just set up you can have up to 10 geofences inside a GPS track manager if for some reason you need more than that give us a call or send us an email we can have the programmer set it up where you need more but in most cases you shouldn't need more than 10 if you run into an issue where you have too many and you need to add another one just go in and delete one out so what I'm gonna do is go in and set up another geofence just so I can show you what it would be like to delete those out of there so I'm gonna create a geofence area again I'm gonna put in another address We'll just say 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. 
let's say we want this one in Charleston, West Virginia. So you click it, let it load in, then you grab your outer perimeter, you can zoom in, so you can get it really as small as you want, that's way too big. And we'll say I'm satisfied with that, so I'm going to hit Submit. Now, when I go into View Delete Geofences, there's our first geofence we set up. I hit Next here, and there's our second geofence we set up. Let's say we don't need this one anymore. So all you do is you hit Delete, and you'll notice that this red button came up that says Geofenced Mark for Deletion. If you were going to do multiple ones, you would go in and you would hit Delete on that one as well. You'll see when I go back to the next one, it's still marked for deletion. Once you have them all marked for deletion, you hit submit. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks.